Okay, that was mildly scary. Um, what I would recommend is creating a template for the bottom of your sink. Basically, I would cut a piece of wood that fits right into that part of the bowl, and then I would drill a hole straight in the center with a hole saw exactly the size of your drain, just exactly the size of your drill bit. And then your drill bit would only have one place to go. This one was kind of iffy and choppy because I was trying to keep it in one place. This diamond dr drill bit hole saw doesn't have the center screw that is typically in hole saws to keep it steady. So it was kind of slipping all over the place there for a minute. And once it got a grip though, I was able to push down on it enough to keep it steady. Um, it's very helpful if you have another person to hold the bowl down so it's not slipping all over the place too. And when you are using a diamond drill bit hole saw on glass or porcelain or anything of that type, you want to have water there so that it doesn't overheat, which is why I kept putting more water in there. And you don't want to apply too much pressure. You want to apply pressure, but you don't want to just like put your hand down on it and like apply lots of pressure because then it will break through. When it breaks through, it will chip the glass on the other side, which is obviously not something you want. So you just want to apply even steady pressure to it. And when you get down into the next level of porcelain for the bowl, you want to start rocking it in different directions, kind of. And that worked for me and it made a beautiful even hole right in the center of the bowl. So I'm actually I'm really happy with it. Now what's next is to see if the sink thingy, whatever it's called, the drain, <laughs> to see if the drain will fit in the bottom of the hole like I measured it. So let's see about that. So it turns out this drill bit is slightly smaller than my drain. So I am having to use the drill bit to kind of file around the edges to make it bigger. really not a hard process at all. This is actually really simple and you could use pretty much any porcelain bowl. This is an antique wash basin that would go with a wash stand um, historically. And I wanted to use something that would go with a wash stand since I'm using a wash stand as my bathroom vanity. So it historically would go with that, which is kind of cool. I like those little details and not to mention the fact that this sink is going to cost me $8, which is what I paid for the bowl at a thrift store minus the cost of the drill bit which was $16 on Amazon and I will go ahead and link that in the description below for you in case you're interested in doing a project like this as well all right let's get to the other parts of making this wash stand into a vanity and then I will go into installing this sink when the vanity is ready well today we have to make the holes in the vanity itself to install the sink and the faucet I also have to drill holes in the back and then I'm going to have to adjust the drawers to basically so that the plumbing the, the drawers don't go into the plumbing so I'm gonna have to cut holes around them which is gonna be interesting so we shall see how this turns out but in the meantime um, I think the first step is to make the holes in the vanity top I was considering a hole saw which would make a much cleaner cut but at the same time I'm not sure I have a hole saw that will fit so I'm not gonna go out and buy another hole saw. So I think I'm gonna use my jigsaw. So I'm gonna get my jigsaw and a drill bit and we're gonna get to work here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am super apprehensive about this entire project because obviously you cannot undo it. So once I put a hole, that's just where the hole is going to be. So it's always kind of nerve wracking starting projects that you don't, like you've never done before because there is a high probability that you will mess up. And I'm always afraid that I won't be able to fix it when I screw up but if I look at my track record I have almost 100% success rate on things even if I've done it my first time so don't let that feeling that you're going to screw up something don't let that stop you from trying new things and trying to learn new skills because it can be overwhelming and to the point where you just you don't ever do it but you need to do it you need to learn and challenge yourself and grow so I need to do that as well 
I have marked my holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a pilot hole right on the outside using this tiny little thing first. And then I'm going to go in with a bigger drill bit and then I'm gonna use my jigsaw to get around the hole. There's a hole in my top. Now I'm going in with the bigger drill bit, the thicker one. Try to clean up as I go because I don't want to make huge mess here in my bathroom because the mess will escalate. All right, now I have my hole right here. Now I'm going to use my jigsaw to go around the hole. I should have put the hole up here, honestly, because this is probably not going to be super easy. Fingers crossed we don't screw this up. This is loud, by the way. But it's easy. Sawdust everywhere. So, that's fun. Let's see if my sink fits in the hole. Moment of truth. Nope. I think it was cut a little bit at an angle, so I'm gonna go back in. Alright, let's try that. We have a sink! Now I need to cut the hole for the faucet and I, I sort of put it together simply because I wanted to know exactly which piece was going to go through the hole because I didn't want to drill a hole the wrong size. So it is this piece right here for mine that is going to go through and attach to the countertop either through the underside. So I guess this is attaches to the underside of the cabinet. But in any case, this right here is the size that I am drilling into the counter. So again, I'm gonna make a pilot hole. Well, I just broke my bed. Oops. So I guess I'm gonna be going to find a new drill bit. Jigsaw bit. I'll be right back. All right, I dug around and I found some more blades. Yeah, I'm making this hole right here. I already made this one for the sink. Ah, this is making a massacre. That difference in blades, oh my gosh, just like ripped the hole in this top. That is very ugly. So, I now have a pipe leaking. So there's that. There are plenty of moments like this in these projects. Like I, I have people telling me all the time, I don't know how you do it, I don't know how you do it. Honestly, I don't either because I have five children in the house at all times. So I am constantly being interrupted and the way that my brain works is I have to be able to focus on things, especially when I am learning a new skill. I have to be able to think and constant interruptions do not help with that process at all. It's extremely frustrating. It was the same problem that I had working in retail because I would be doing a project and then people would come in and interrupt me constantly and I find it very hard to get back on track after being distracted. So it takes me like 20 million times longer than it probably would normal people. So in any case, I have a leaking pipe. I'm gonna need to elicit a little bit of help, possibly from my dad to come and help me fix it. And I just gotta move forward with the project. So what I'm going to do is uninstall this backsplash here because I can do demo. Demo is fun. I It's the putting things back together that is not fun for me because nothing is ever like simple. It's always like two million tiny details that I have to make all the decisions for and then I have to be the one doing all the work. And if it's, if I break something or if something goes wrong, I am also the one that then has to figure out how to fix it. So yeah, anyway, let's get to ripping this off. I think that might make me feel better. Maybe, we'll see what it looks like underneath. I may cry, we'll, we'll see. There it looks. Yep, um, it's a work in progress, obviously. 
and it's not a quick process, unfortunately. When you ever you involve things like plumbing and electrical, it's typically not a fast process especially in this house. Unfortunately, the house that we live in was very poorly constructed with the cheapest materials. My house was built in 2004, so it's not even 20 years old yet, and everything basically has hit its expiration. So um, the plumbing was not done well, the electrical was not done well. They basically just smashed a hole in the wall to install electrical. So there are no electrical boxes where they should be connected to studs. So bathrooms are not an easy project in this house, and the kitchen will not be either, which is probably why I just keep putting them off because it's so, it gives me so much anxiety and I am not skilled in these things and I really don't want to learn how to do, how to have to do plumbing. I just, my learning curve is pretty steep. I am going to get some help, hopefully from my father, who is a master plumber and he can come in here and fix my problems, dad please. And then I will show you how we fix it and I will bring you in the process. And I am also finishing the door trim on either side. And so that's what I have left. I have to install the vanity. I have to replace the backsplash. And I am thinking I'm going to do the shiplap like it is over here, only I'm going to frame it in very prettily over there. And then I have to replace the light. Two wall sconces that my dad will then have to help me install because the wiring is going to have to change from a single light fixture to two light fixtures. So I'm gonna need his help on that for sure. <sighs> But of course, you know, this is the uh, big thing right here. My water bill is going to be fantastic. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much, friends, for watching all the way through if you've made it this far. Don't forget to like the video if you like this kind of content and subscribe if you aren't and you want to be a part of the community here at Capturing Wonderland where I am making this house a home. It is not the prettiest house. It's a very plain Jane subdivision home, cookie cutter, but I'm trying my best to make it my wonderland and add some of that vintage charm that I love so much from the old Victorian homes. But until then, thanks again for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.